For more on this, uh, we're now joined by Professor of International Relations at Wits University, Professor John Stremler. Professor, thank you so much uh, for joining us here on uh, the late edition. Of course, we know uh, that America has been clear from the onset in terms of who it supports, and uh, they've been clear uh, that they are in solidarity with the people of Israel. What do you make of uh, the physical presence of uh, the, the U.S. president now making his way to Israel? Well, it is remarkable, and I did see the uh, final uh, set of comments that he rendered before he left Israel, and they were poignant and very personal, but also had embedded in them a concern about the welfare and well-being of Palestinian people, and he did call again for a two-state solution, which is exactly what the South African government is calling for. And the South African government maintains very good and strong relations with Palestine and the Palestinian people without picking a faction one way or another. Biden does have a dilemma because there is one government in Israel right now and it is very right wing and he's had his difficulties with Bibi Netanyahu over the past. But this this time of crisis, I think the, the demonstration of tough love mm. is probably going to net some humanitarian assistance and a corridor which has been promised by uh, to the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken. But it's, it is a very difficult moment, and I would hope that the South African government can um, maintain close ties and communications with the Palestinians, as the Americans do with the Israelis, and maybe, just maybe, we'll s sort of move to a concerted effort to get a two-state solution. Mm. And uh, Professor, something else uh, that uh, the U.S. President touched on is indeed, you know, what happened a few hours ago, and uh, that is uh, the attack on the hospital uh, in Gaza, uh, which left hundreds of people dead. And uh, immediately they're saying uh, that, uh, you know, they know it's the other side, meaning it is uh, Hamas uh, that, uh, you know, is responsible uh, for the attack. Is it still too early uh, to exonerate, um, you know, uh, uh, the the, uh, the position uh, that uh, the Israelis played in, in this regard? I have not seen the intelligence and I wouldn't claim to know what the real story is. However, conceptually it makes no sense for the Israelis to bomb this hospital right now and conceptually it makes no sense for the uh, Palestinians to bomb a civilian hospital and cause such terrible terrible hardship among women and children you know half the 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 uh, half the population of palestine is is young people and so therefore uh it doesn't make sense to me i think it was probably a mistake by one side or the other but at the moment the israelis are saying it's islamic jihad and the uh palestinians are saying it must be Israel who had, but there's no crater. So, I mean, I just don't know. But I think really this has been a terrible development, not only for the people, but for the process. Mm. What do you also make of the sentiments shared um, by uh, the U.S. President Joe Biden there when it comes uh, to, uh, you know, condemning the attack? I mean, he condemned the attack and, you know, also went out of his way uh, to say, uh, you know, uh, those uh, who support uh, Palestine uh, are not in support of Hamas. And the sentiments we've been hearing over the past couple of days is uh, for those who are in solidarity with the people of Palestine, you are essentially supporting a terrorist group I don't think that's the case I I tend to agree with uh, dr. Pandor and, and the minister of, of, uh, of the, the Department of uh, International uh, relations and cooperation Durko uh, and she has been very clear even though she called a Hamas leader and I think that was an appropriate response in the aftermath of the hospital destruction 
and with Biden visiting and embracing Netanyahu the way they did, you know, there is a really important element here of showing the Palestinians that they do have international friends who will back them up. Uh, you know, I, I recall that Cyril Ramaphosa played a critical role in the Irish settlement of, between the IRA and the Irish government. Um, uh, that was backed by Britain in monitoring that peace process. It was critical. And at a, some point in this craziness that is, uh, is, is a revenge strategy only, that there will be an opportunity. Uh, we almost had a two-state solution in 2000 and, and, and that, that, that the Clinton administration brokered. This time it will need to be brokered internationally and I think um, that South Africa has um, taken a position which is really smart and necessary if you're going to bring the two sides eventually together. But right now there's no leadership, there's no ownership, there's no risk taking on the part of either side being a reliable partner to the other and mm. that is going to take awful lot of diplomacy mm. and uh, professor you know uh, this visit uh, by u.s president uh, joe biden has been clouded uh, by the hospital attack uh, you know do you think that it has also complicated uh, this visit uh, to the middle east of course it has because uh, El Sisi and and uh, and and uh, uh, Mahmoud Abbas uh, declined to, to mm -hmm. join uh, at, at, at the, the King of Jordan in meeting with Biden, and Biden has said he would talk to them on the phone. But but by and large, it, it, it has been very very tragic, not only for the families involved, but for any kind of of, of humanitarian push. Uh, for the people of Palestine and the people of Israel who are uh, victims of a quid pro quo, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, revenge that has, you know, it, proven to be a dead end. And just as the South Africans discovered that they could not deal with the apartheid and, uh, you know, what what Israel's been running is an apartheid state, uh, and it's it's not viable. Uh, and and uh, they pulled out of uh, uh, of Gaza, and now they're now they're going back in, but they're going to get into a swamp if they do, and it's going to be just terrible because it's going to risk regional instability and escalation, which is again. Biden's real concern here is that this conflict not spin out of control and bring in the other major regional powers, but also perhaps uh, uh, other global powers as well. China and, and Russia have stakes and they identify with the Palestinians. Well, um, let's have everybody push for a two state solution and solve this problem once and for all. Professor, thank you so much uh, for your time. That is uh, Professor John Stremlau there just giving us his insight in terms of uh, the visit by U.S. President uh, Joe Biden to Israel, uh, saying that, of course, uh, the push for uh, a two-state uh, country uh, is uh, much needed in terms of uh, the situation in the Middle East.